Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and what a performance from Barcelona. It was an away game from a big European competition which was never gonna be easy. But Barcelona were just outstanding for this Napoli side and this game should and must be exaggerated because Napoli is a side to be honest who have one of the best defensive record from this season. But in this game, Xavi's Barcelona completely opened them up and they had no answers to the type of game Barcelona had displayed. And Barcelona came out to this game with being in really good form because after beating Valencia at their home by 4-1, Barcelona had that momentum and they did pick up that momentum that they carried that momentum from right from the start of this game. And well, right from the start, Barcelona were absolutely choking Napoli from their high press and to be honest, it was so good that Napoli were really struggling because Napoli is also a kind of team who likes to have the ball who likes to have that position, who likes to build up the game from the back. But Barca's pressing was so good, the pressing led them to play long balls which often helped us to regain that position. But also playing long balls was also an another strategy by Napoli to find Osimhen and use his pace. But PK and Arao dealt well with him. And Napoli were here looking for the counter as they were not being able to keep up that position and on 7th minute, they had a first corner of the match and it was Insigne who decided to put a low cross into the box onto which Barca smartly win it and it was Aubameyang who was smart and quick enough to run with the ball and from there, Barca started their rare counter attacking game and well that was an absolute masterclass because having such speedsters like Aubameyang, Traore and Alba, we can be very lethal in those counter attacks and well, we were indeed lethal. Aubameyang picked up Taro and Traore calmly picked up Jordi Alba in that centre and Jordi Alba came with a really cool finish to be honest. He didn't try to hit the ball really hard, he just guided into the near right corner and Barcelona took the lead. And even after this goal, Barca still looked hungry. The amount of intensity that Barca had was just incredible and Napoli were unable to cope with it. And Napoli started losing the ball really in danger areas and Barcelona were quick and smart enough to make the most out of it. And right on 13th minute, Napoli lost the ball or lost the position in the midfield. It was Torres who was onto the ball. He smartly battles the ball for De Jong and who was like 30 yards away from the goal. And from there, De Jong took some few touches and then came out with something really, really audacious. Because look at the position of De Jong and look at the top right corner. You have to be inch perfect to put that ball into that right corner. And well, De Jong here understand the assignment. He chipped the ball which got, which had got that perfect curl on it and it finished right on the, the top corner of the net. And talking about Frankie De Jong, it was one of his best performances for Barca shirt in a long time. On big European stage, Frank De Jong has finally shined and is now shutting the mouths of the Spanish media. Xavi seems to have brought back that Frankie De Jong that we bought from Ajax. And Javi kind of have identified how Frankie Dion can be used in this system. He is one of those players I guess who has the most freedom to join the attack, to drop deep, to receive the ball and this role to be honest actually suits him and also the work rate of this guy is just unbelievable. He will attack, he will press high, he will win the ball back and also the way he quickly runs and find himself or put himself in such position where other players can quickly find him is really appreciable. It's like he never stops working or gets freeze whenever he's on the field. And also with him, Pedri, who we all know is nowadays just amazing to watch the way he breaks the line with his through balls, even his distribution and some of the line breaking passes or defense breaking passes are just so good to watch. And also along with him, Busquets also really had a great game. The reason might be due to that he really got a good amount of time to work on the ball. And of course, which he likes to and it was his kind of game. He did pretty well in this game. The pressing and the position of this guy really helped us to dominate that midfield. And well, everything looked good in front, in the middle of the pitch, but at the back, especially at the goal, I think Ter Stegen is still struggling. Because it was again a long ball which found Osimhen and right on the edge of the box, it was Ter Stegen who quite made a poor decision to go and make that challenge and which got all wrong eventually and Napoli got the penalty. And from spot, Insigne kind of bring them back to the game and the goal was really against the run of play. But still after this goal, at the front line, Barca's pressing was still intact and Barca were getting chances after chances and thankfully, right before the half-time, it was again Traore from the right side who was really causing a lot of problems throughout the game for Napoli's defence. He earned a corner, Napoli failed to clear the ball and it came to Jordi Alba on the left on which he put a cross which was deflected and got towards and PK with his striker's instinct puts the ball into that bottom left corner and Barca ended their amazing first half with an amazing goal by Gerard PK. And at the starting minutes of second half, Napoli tried to get on the front foot which prompted Barcelona to do some defensive work but still as soon as we got to settle back, Barca again started to dominate the game. Barca again got on front foot and in I think it was in 59th minute 
it it was Traore who cut inside from that right and put that low ball into the box for Diong who smartly passed it to Obamia who was completely unmarked in the box and got onto the ball and scored fourth goal of Barcelona with that killer number 9 finish goalkeeper really had no chance and that was to be honest an absolutely killer striker instinctive finish and Barcelona were running right against Napoli till now Barcelona did make some changes after the goal but still the quality wasn't changed Yeah but still we were kind of started defending a little bit more we didn't took that much of chances to attack but still the game was all under control even though the napoli managed to get a goal a late goal in 82nd minute i think it was sloppy pass from pk to nico gonzales into the box that put him under pressure then he lost the ball eventually and it was poritano who got on the ball and scored it with a precise low finish into the bottom corner but surely it was kind of a just a consolation goal for napoli because it was barcelona who finished the game with a five goal to the three on aggregate and barcelona ball will now move on to the next round where they will face galatasaray in the round of 16 but eventually it is a special victory for barcelona because with that kind of performance against a side who is in top four of syria fighting for the domestic title and also a team who have one of the best defensive record this season and barcelona here absolutely bullied them i'll say absolutely bullied them because with that kind of performance where our midfield was just amazing and again the game which we are playing have gotten more intense and direct which helps us to create the chance with having a lot of possession and well this is barcelona that we all were dying to see this is javi's new young barcelona who currently look too good and yes it's too early because barcelona will make mistakes but the progress has been absolutely outstanding under javi we still have a lot more to see from this squad and i'm sure in coming games we have much more to see from this team who looks to getting ready to show the world again who they really are do let me know your thoughts about this game in the comments down below and as usual do like and share this video and also don't forget to subscribe the channel and as usual i'll meet you soon with another new video until that time for kabarsa